Word for you today is Tuesday, October the 15th. It's praying passionately, praying passionately. Can you remember the last time you prayed passionately? You say, what, what, what do you mean? Well, Colossians chapter 4, verse 12, Paul is writing and he's talking about uh, Epaphras. Epaphras was a cup from Colossae. Uh, and, and Paul's going to be talking about him. He says, Ep- Epaphras, who is one of you, in other words, he was one of the Colossians, and a servant of Christ Jesus sends greetings. He is always wrestling in prayer for you, that you may stand firm in all the will of God, mature and fully assured. Epaphras was was one of them, and he had a, a keen interest in the people. And you know, when you have an interest in people, we tend to pray more passionately. He was a servant of Jesus Christ. Paul said that Epaphras constantly prays for the Colossians. Three, for three things he prays for, that they stand firm in the will of God, that they, they don't allow the cultural influences, the peer pressure to keep them from, from living in a way other than the way God would have them to live. Secondly, that they would mature, that they would grow in their relationship with Christ. And then third, that they be fully assured confident in their relationship so that they would stand firm in their faith in the Lord, that they would mature and grow stronger and that they would be fully assured they would know beyond the shadow of a doubt they are a child of the living God through his son, Jesus. Epaphras prayed for these people because he knew them. We all need people to pray for us constantly question is, who do we pray for? And do we pray passionately for them? What does it mean to pray passionately? Well, sincerely. You genuinely, you care enough. Do you know people that you're praying for that sometimes you move to tears because of what's going on in their heart, in their life? You you see them doing this and you say, that's hurting them. And, And you pray and ask God to pull them close to him and to guide them and direct them and protect them. And, and it hurts you because you see them doing things that hurt them. So we pray sincerely. We pray regularly. We care enough to, that we remember them on a regular basis. We don't just pray once and forget about it. There's nothing wrong with that. But when we pray passionately, it's each day we're thinking about them. We, we pray with love. We love them enough. We take time to bring them before our Father in heaven. Faith. We pray for them knowing that God is hearing our prayers and that that he will act. What will he will do? He's God. But we know that God loves them. And we pray in faith that God will be moving in their life. We pray for God's will to be done in their life. And then we thank God for hearing our prayers and for caring about this person that we love. Sometimes it's family members. Sometimes it's a friend. Sometimes it's, it's somebody that, a neighbor, somebody that we know. But let me ask you, who are you praying passionately for? Who are you praying passionately for? In uh, some early African converts to Christianity were earnest and regular in their, their prayer life. And each one of them, they would have their village. and Each one of them would go off into the jungle to a, a place where they would pray. And as they went regularly to do that, they would wear the grass down. There would be a path way to their prayer place. And if they hadn't been for a while, the grass would start to grow up. And they would say to one, brother, the grass grows in your path, meaning you haven't been faithful to going and praying. So I guess question for you and me is, are we faithful in our prayer time for people? Is the grass growing in our path? Who are we praying for passionately? And if we're not, why not? Why not? God put somebody on our hearts today that you want us to pray for passionately. And then we pray for, and may it even bring tears to us because we care so much. Have a good day.